from Conan Bridge. You'll soon reach the long sheltered estuary of the Cromarty Firth. The deep waters of the Firth are important for shipping and home to major fabrication, repair and maintenance facilities, primarily for the oil and gas sector. In spite of the sheer busyness of these waters, the Firth is an important wintering area for wildfowl and waders, who make use of the intertidal mudflats, salt marsh, reed beds and grassland round here. To find out more, Fiona MacDonald spoke to Scottish Natural Heritage's Nathan McLaughlin about the area. Why is the Cromarty Firth area such, such a good area for overwintering wildfowl? Well, there's a few reasons. One is obviously the quality of the habitat, the extent of the habitat as well. I think there's about 4,000 hectares of exposed sand and mudflats and salt marsh. But it's also the location we get a lot of birds coming in from uh, Iceland to spend the winter here, so it's it's a very handy stopping point for those that are carrying on further south, but it's also a suitable distance for those coming from Iceland and looking to spend the whole winter here. And what species of bird would you be likely to see here? Well, we get a, quite a range of wildfowl and uh, waders from things like the grey lag geese will tend to go out and forage in the fields the agricultural fields round about so they're quite easy to see from the train at certain times of year because they'll be feeding in large flocks on the agricultural fields whereas things like the uh, red shanks and the curlies will tend to stay quite close to the shore a lot of the time although all these birds have slightly different sizes of beaks and slightly different dietary requirements so they all tend to occupy slightly different niches in this area so things like the curlies have very big long beaks and can probe into the the mud and into the sand a lot deeper to get the the worms and the snails that they're looking for whereas things like oyster catchers have slightly shorter beaks and don't tend to go as deep so everything all sorts of fits together in this area. It's quite a busy port area to the Cromarty Firth, isn't it? There's, there are quite a lot of large ships coming up and down. Does this does this affect the birds, or are you able to tell that or not? Well, they, I mean, they seem to exist coexist quite happily together because of the the sort of layout of the Firth. There's a, a deep water channel that comes in as far as Eventon, and the majority of shipping tends to stay to that deep water channel because. Obviously, it's it's clear navigable passage, whereas the birds like the exposed mud flats, so they tend to occupy slightly different areas within the Firth. In the winter, what would you be likely to see or hear? You can hear a range of sounds, things like the the widgeon, which in French is called the the whistling duck. You also get the the big flocks of geese that you know the characteristic sounds of. Geese flying overhead is one that you associated with the coast around Scotland, and uh, the hooper swans as well make a, a very interesting sort of honking noise. That's quite. You can make real cacophony, <laughs> yeah, can't they? Yeah, they can. Uh, and if you're if you're down on, especially if you're close to the shore when it's, there's a high tide and all the birds are very close packed in together, it can be a real a real mix of sounds from uh, all, a range of species of birds, and it's quite quite interesting to. You know, not just to be able to look at them, but to be able to hear all these things as well. OK, we're here in the Cromarty Firth. What is it that actually makes the birds want to stay here? Well, it's, uh, it's the the range of habitats we have here. So the, it's not just that there's mud flats here, there's sand flats, there's uh, eelgrass beds as well, there's open water, there's salt marsh, there's also uh, agricultural fields close by that offer the, the geese a lot of feeding. And it's this combination and patchwork of habitats that is uh, just ideal for birds to spend the winter here.